Good morning, happy Saturday, pre-Mother's Day. I'm so excited. I am going to be sharing the screen with Chef Robert Sundle of Stockholm Petaluma, who is fabulous. You probably know him from both Stockholm Petaluma and his other restaurant in San Francisco called Play. So I've had the pleasure of working with Robert and Andrea for two or three years now. I do marketing with them and they're killer. They're the best. So anyway, we have a little special treat for you guys. Robert is going to be sharing his Swedish pancake recipe with you this morning um, out of his kitchen in Petaluma. So we're literally like getting a behind the scenes of Robert working and uh, creating this yummy recipe, which I've had a bunch and it's delicious. So let me see if Robert is ready to join along. Nope, he's not on yet, but he will be on any minute. And yeah, I'm curious, those of you that are joining, thank you so much. Can you uh, put in the comment section, you know, have you had this recipe at Stockholm? Are you anxious to learn how to make it? And then are you gonna be making it tomorrow for Mother's Day? Sadly, I am not in Chicago with my mom, so I'm not gonna get to make it. But she's joining along um, on this Instagram Live, so hopefully she, we can sort of be making it together. I have all of the ingredients. I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients I have laid out. So we have been really lucky. We are partnering with Clover on this. That is a local purveyor that Robert loves and adores and uses basically for all of his baking and cooking. So we wanted to showcase some of Clover's products in today's Instagram Live. So let me see if I can get Robert on here. Shoot, he's not on yet. Okay, well you're gonna get to just keep hearing me talk. And since it's still quite early, I'm nursing my coffee. Um, I'm, this is only my second cup, and I don't really feel like I, I think that clearly until at least two, maybe three. Mm. I know, we've got some good comments. Yay, the third act is gonna make it for Mother's Day. Amazing. Um, yeah, and I think it's funny because I've had this dish a lot at Stockholm. It's both like a crowd favorite as a dessert and also, you know, like on a Saturday for lunch. And it's so yummy, and I never really thought about what goes into it. But um, the ingredients are pretty simple. I mean, literally, Robert's gonna talk about this more, but we've got buttermilk, flour, vanilla extract, two clover eggs, clover organic whole milk, kosher salt, and um, yeah, that's it. Sorry for the spinning, but okay, let me check back if uh, Stockholm Petaluma is on here. No, I don't see them yet. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, well, well. Okay. So, so yeah, let me know in the comment section who has actually had this recipe at Stockholm and where you guys live. Like, it's always fun to sort of see who's dialing in from where. I um, shared this with a bunch of my friends and family in the Midwest. So I think we're going to hopefully have some guys joining from Indiana, from Illinois, possibly New York. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I lived in New York for 11 years and I'm originally from Chicago. So fun fact. So yeah, I'm definitely a California girl now, but... I started out as a Midwest girl and then a New Yorker. So I guess apparently I like the two coasts and the middle of the country. Um, okay, stay tuned. Let me check in on Robert. Hmm, okay. Well, lucky you, you guys just get to hear me talk and talk. Um, oh, what did I do in New York? Great question, SK225. So I worked in fashion. I, that's actually sort of where the name of the blog Jet Setting Fashionista came about. I worked at Bloomingdale's for about 11 years and I worked at Louis Vuitton for two. So that's sort of gonna age me, but the secret's out. Um, I'm a little older than people think. And yeah, it was super fun. So I started the blog because, um, yeah, I mean, ever since a young age, I really, really loved to travel and everybody would sort of always, oh, hey, Moritz and Wines. I bet that's Clay who I did this with yesterday. Um, yeah, everybody would always sort of be like, Emily, where should I go in Paris, London? I studied abroad in London. And this was before social media. So literally I would just copy an email and send it to them and maybe I'd like tweak it a little bit. And then I was on a flight to Paris. It was 2009, I had just graduated from business school. And I thought to myself, why don't I just put it in a blog? Put it all together in one blog. Um, hello, two peas in a Prada. I don't know if that's Ashley or Emily. Um, so yeah, so I created the blog. And the first two years, it was not open to the public. To me, the thought of random strangers knowing about my life was very bizarre and sort of a violation. Reminder, this is before social media. 
So it took about two years. I created all this content and only friends and family who knew the URL could see it. And then, you know, I started to reach out to hotels and I was like, well, if the hotel review is not public, the hotels are not going to want to host me and wine and dine me. And it just didn't really make sense. So I made the blog public and that was probably 2011. I think that was about when Facebook came around. So it's, it's just really interesting to think about what we all did before, you know, Instagram live. Let me check back if Robert's here. We are having some technical difficulties, so I'm going to have to figure out how to get them to join. One moment, please. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, just, you know, technical difficulties, technology, what can you do? Um, but anyway, so I actually have heard from a few of you that you have your own version of Swedish pancakes. So I'm very curious. You know, we shared the recipe um, and... Where the heck are they? Hold on again, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Well, hopefully you guys are not in a rush to go anywhere because we're getting a little bit of a later start than we had planned. Oh, hello, the Burke girls. My, well, they're not really my nieces, my cousin's daughters who I like to pretend they're my nieces. Um, they are going to be doing this little baking demo with me too. I'm so excited. Does everybody have the supplies handy? Because now that we're um, you know, running a little behind. It's actually a perfect excuse. What I suggest you do, I actually learned this from a friend of mine um, with Food La La, which is a fabulous cooking blog. She says that the best way to cook is to measure all your ingredients ahead of time. I guess it's like a French technique. And you do that. And then um, when we start assembling, you just, you know, grab the pre-made things and you're good to go. Hold on one second. I'm helping. Okay, guys, I'm going to log off for one minute because they, for some reason they can't join and I'm going to get right back. So give me one sec. Okay, guys, it's me again. I'm so sorry. Technical difficulties, but we think that we figured this out with Andrea. So in a moment, I'm going to have Andrea from Stockholm Petaluma. Oh, good. Stockholm Petaluma is here. Let me invite Robert to share the screen with me. Okay, one second, guys. Oh, hello. Hi. Sorry. I don't know what. I just logged off and logged back in. Sometimes that does the trick. We're, we're not very tech savvy here. so. <laughs> well, and each time. Oh, hi, Robert. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, my God. Yeah. I know. Every Finally, time I do this. Go, get it going. What? Finally, we got it going, right? Yeah. Well, and, you know, I feel like Instagram is evolving these daily. I'm still nursing my coffee. You missed it. I'm not quite on my second cup, so I need this to cl think clearly. See? Oh, what? You got everything ready? Of course. So you guys missed it. I was just gabbing away, trying to kill time and entertain people. But look at all my ingredients, Chef. Well, go down. There they are. Perfect. Beautiful. And yeah, actually, I, I think you should give it like two minutes and then I want you to talk about, I mean, people are going to notice there's a lot of clover on my cutting board. So I'm sort of curious for you to tell the, you know, the viewers what your obsession well, is with clover products. So here is our kitchen. We actually, little... oh, beautiful. Um, oh, and I see, is that Emma over there? This is Emma. Hello, <laughs> Emma. Okay. Emma's so, the helper. Yeah, so let me just give an overview. I for, I did it in the last round, but in case people just joined. So good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Emily, Jet Setting Fashionista, and I'm here with Chef Robert Sundal and Andrea and his sous chef, Emma, and we are going to make his beloved Swedish pancake recipe today. Robert, I can't believe you're sharing all these secrets. And, um, you know, Robert's been using Clover ingredients for years, so we partnered with Clover, and they have the recipe on the blog, and we're super excited about this. So... Take it away, Chef. All right. First of all, I'm so excited uh, for, for Clover. I, I love uh, Clover uh, the dairy. So uh, what I choose, why I choose uh, is to do a pancake uh, is because it's just a lot of dairy. In it. So it's just the perfect uh, uh, sample to use the, utilize all, uh, all the ingredients. But uh, me and Emma has been prepping, you know, a little bit in this morning. So you want to go over some steps how to make the okay. uh, this buttermilk pancakes. So you have all the ingredients in front of you, right, Emily? I do, Chef. All right. So <laughs> so uh, do you think the audience is ready to uh, move forward? Yeah, I think so. Hey guys, give us a thumbs up. I mean, they've been most of them have been on since ten thirty. Thank you guys for waiting for our little technical difficulties. 
Um, yeah, I say let's let's take it away. And yeah. worst case, if they fall behind, this will be live on Jet Setting Fashionista Instagram Live, and we're also gonna be putting it on YouTube so people can like you know follow along next week as well. But the idea is for them to hopefully do this tomorrow and share it with mom for Mother's Day, right? Oh, this yeah. is a, this is perfect for Mother's Day. Uh, you know, and the recipe is so simple too. You know, so uh, yeah, we just gonna go over some steps. Okay. And, uh, Emma, you, you love the Swedish pancakes, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what we're gonna do to start with is we crack two eggs. Okay. What size bowl are you using? I had a couple handy, I wasn't sure. Big one. I, I use a little bit, a, a bigger bowl. Okay, I'm gonna crack two eggs. I'm ready for you. Yeah. The reason I used the little bigger bowl is because uh, we're gonna whisk it. So I thought I wanna make sure, I just wanna make sure uh, the bowl is big enough so it doesn't uh, uh, make a mess around it. Yeah. Okay, right, so to, Robert, for a whisker, let's let's pretend everybody's not a chef. What should they use for whisking? Yeah. I have oh, a whisker, good. A whisker. okay. Yeah, I got this. it right. Yeah, we do a, a half a cup of uh, buttermilk. Okay. So we're just gonna whisk it up a little bit. We use to break, break up the eggs. So, Chef, this is the eggs and the clover buttermilk? Yes. Everything and I have a question. Um, I had a hard time finding this clover buttermilk because Whole Foods was sold out. I went to three stores. Could you substitute the buttermilk, like, if you couldn't find it, for example, or is it an absolute essential? Uh, I, like, I like the buttermilk because it gives the pancake a little sourness, but otherwise, if you can substitute the buttermilk with just the same amount of milk. Okay. Yeah. I had a suspicion. I, I texted this to my friends, like, this morning, all of them have kids. And I was like, don't worry if you don't have buttermilk, just, you know, plop in more milk. So thank you. I'm glad I guessed that right. Yeah. So we uh, add uh, 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 vanilla. vanilla. Okay. So, um, remind me how much vanilla we're doing? A quarter of a teaspoon? Yes. But okay, I'm just going to show everybody along. Very, very gentle here. Vanilla extract oh. has been another hard thing, Robert. I don't know if you know this, because you probably buy everything in bulk, but... It has been sold out of the store. I did this um, macaroon class a couple weeks ago, and it took me two weeks to get vanilla extract. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, it's like a it's a very hot commodity. I'm not. Well, I, I probably because it's home baking right now. Yeah, one cup of flour. Okay, one cup of flour. And do you have a preference for the flour brands or just whatever? I used to do an all purpose. Okay. You know, but you can you can use uh, 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 a, qu a quarter a cup of uh, you know rye flour or, or a, uh, buckwheat flour if you want to go that direction. But the, the thing is, it, you know, it's, it's very it's going to be very thick. And the okay. Way you do this is uh, when you st stir it right now. When it's thick, you're not too much liquid because you just want to get all the lumps out. So you're going to stir it. We'll stir it till you get all the lumps. Okay. And Robert, I have a question. You were like me. You had all the ingredients pre-measured. What is that cooking style called again? It's like a French word. Uh, mise en place. Oui. Merci beaucoup. My friend taught me that trick because I, I did a couple of her cooking classes and I didn't have it measured and I felt like the whole time I was playing catch up. So yeah. apparently is that something all cooks, chefs do? You just measure ahead of time? Well, the, be the best part is like when you do work with any kind of recipes uh, is you, you make sure you have everything in front of you so you to set up for success instead of ru running it around the recipe <laughs> and trying to find things in the same way. Yeah, like, I've made right? that mistake. <laughs> but as you see, you know, when I stir it, you get all these lumps, lumps out of it. Oh, Clover Sonoma is recommending Good Earth. I think that's a flower brand. I think it's a store. Oh, a store? Okay. Yeah, for vanilla and flour and whatnot. Oh, you Petaluma locals know all the tricks. Sorry, I'm in San Francisco. I need to go visit Good Earth when I can get out of town. They might actually be in Marin, I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Robert, this smells really yummy. It smells good. <laughs> all right. And isn't this cherry bowl adorable? Okay, so when you... Darling. So when you see this, when it's a lump free, lump free, you're adding, you know, okay. a three quarter cup of milk, the clover milk. Okay. I like the whole milk, it's my favorite. 
Yep. Pre-measured like a good chef. Let me just show everybody what that milk carton looks like, just a visual reminder. And you guys, you can find, I found this clover at um, Whole Foods in San Francisco. I also found it. There's this really beautiful gourmet market on Valencia and 16th. That's where I got the buttermilk. Um, Gus's Market in San Francisco also carries clover. So you, those of you in San Francisco should have no problem finding it. I think we can get ours at Petaluma Market. Okay. Yeah. So it's really soupy now, chef. Is that good? Yes, we, we're okay. going to let, let it rest for a couple of minutes here. You know, the be best part is just when you adding, uh, when you let it rest, the, the pancakes just get more, more, more to them. So oh. Just gonna go, go, uh, go on and, 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 uh, and uh, do the pancakes right now. Okay. Oh, good. Uh, My sister just joined. Hi, Janine. Yeah, I, I, I use a, a, a Teflon pan, uh, a 12 inch, you know, because I, I like to make the pancakes nice uh, in a bigger size. So, Robert, can you use a flat pan like this? Because this is sort of what I thought I'd be using, but apparently I'm wrong. I'm sorry, sitting again. Can you not make a pancake on one of these flat pans? Uh, well, that's going to be a little harder, but you can. Oh, well, then no. I'll get my pan like yours. Sorry, that, that, I was just that, guessing. That's, per that's perfect for American pancakes. <laughs> okay, so you're suggesting something more like this. Nice, something round. Yes. Okay, perfect. So this is a large 10 inch all clad. Do I need any olive oil or anything? Or I'm sorry, a uh, pan or something? For the uh, pan? We, we go with the clover unsalted butter. Okay. okay. And we just gonna put the uh, uh, one quarter uh, teaspoon in the pan. And Chef, you put it in a, you pour it. So when I do for this recipe, I got uh, four. Uh, if I do the twelve-inch pan, I got four big pancakes. That's perfect, perfect for the family in the morning. So with my ten-inch, maybe I'll be lucky to get three pancakes. <laughs> if you're lucky, yeah. But it's, it's to move forward, you know. Uh, this is just a ba based on, on on a small recipe. You know, if you, if you have a bigger family, it's, Go ahead and, and uh, double or triple the recipe. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, here's my clover unsalted butter. I'm going to have it start melting. Perfect. This is amazing, Robert. I feel like I'm really getting a guided cooking lesson. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is perfect. Yeah. I mean, like I say, this is, this, this is good food. This is good uh, uh, breakfast. But, you know, in, uh, in Scandinavia, you eat uh, pancakes for, for lunch as well. So it doesn't mm -hmm. have to sincerely be just for breakfast. 24-7. So, Robert, can you, I don't know, a lot of people might not know your background. Can you share a little bit more about where you're from and what brought you to the U.S.? Well, I, I'm born and raised in Stockholm, Sweden, and uh, I've been here for 20 years right now. And uh, I was backpacking through, through the States and I uh, met my wife, Andrea. Woohoo! Yeah. Love your wife. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the rest is history. The rest you is know, history. We, we own two So you guys started your first restaurant in San Francisco how many years ago? Uh, we've been uh, running a play for eight years. So eight years in San Francisco. Uh, we've been living in Petaluma for seven years. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, so uh, just put the butter in the pan. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's cooking. And when it starts to get a little brown, you know it's it, you know it's ready to put your pan pancake batter in. Oh so, my god! It smells so good. Can I just lick the butter in, like yeah. a little break? Yeah. So we do, <laughs> so we do a, a half a cup, half a half cup, a cup of, okay. of, of uh, pancake batter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna make make sure that the nice and nice and I can only so fit one in. We'll see. All right. So this is my, my trick. You want to get the, the, the butter a little, little brown. And I put the half a cup right in the middle of the pan. Oh, shoot. I already messed up. I put it on the side. Should I dump that one? What do you think? That, then I move it around here. Yes, dump it. Okay. <laughs> nice and brown. Do you see that? Yeah, show us again, please, Chef. One more time, Chef. 
Well, Emma, Emma's going to show you now. Oh, good. You're, we might have to go a little slower, Chef. I don't know if everybody like me can follow. I'll, I'll go a little slower. Sorry. You can do this with your eyes shut. Um, I have to start over, guys. I actually, you know, I might have messed up to make everybody at home feel okay if they messed up. Um, so I'm going to start over, and I'm going to put, oh, hey, Emma. Emma's on the grill. I'm going to okay. put half a cup of batter in the middle, as Robert said. In the middle? Yeah. So the reason I put it on the side, I think I took you literally, when you said you get three or four pancakes per pan, I thought at the same time, but no. This is exactly why I'm really bad at baking. <laughs> no, the baking is you just only have to have a little patience. That's all. You know, oh, well, that could also be why I'm bad at it. But if you just take your time, it will be fine. Is this better, Chef? Let me see. Oh, look at that. It's much better. It does have a weird, like, clover edge to it. How do you get it perfectly round like yours? Uh, you, she asked how you get it perfectly round. Oh, you, you swirl the pan, as, as I showed. I'm going to make another one. So, yeah. okay. so uh, this is the pancake, and then I'll, I'm just flipping it. So now you have a oh, nice... What problem. level of heat are you on, Robert? Hi. S say it again? What level of heat are you on? I'm on very low. Oh, uh, uh, no, uh, you have to be uh, between a high and medium. Between. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, so Emma's going to flip her pancake. Oh, it's good. We're going to see. We're going to see. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Yeah. Yay, good job. <laughs> okay, so I need to flip mine. Right. Whew, a lot of work here, guys. <laughs> um, how did it go? Uh, we'll see. Yeah. Wish me luck. <laughs> Okay. It smells like very buttery. Ooh, all right. Mission somewhat accomplished. You did it? Yeah, well, well. my consistency is a little <laughs> interesting. Well, I mean, you're going to learn a weakness of mine today, Robert. Right. I'm not. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you again here. Okay. <laughs> right. I think mine is ready. Yeah. I think Emma can teach so, me a trick or two. I mean, it, it, uh, there's Emma's pancake. Oh, and your consistency looks better than mine, too. All right, Emma's going to do another one, too. All right. <laughs> yeah. You see? Uh, you, you melt the butter in the pan. Okay. It's going to start getting brown. I used a half, half a cup of batter. It is important that the, the, the butter is getting that uh, beautiful brownish color. Uh, yeah. I don't, you know, so you know it's cooking the pancake pretty fast, but also gives it a beautiful uh, uh, color on, on the pancake. Yeah. Uh oh, I better check on mine one sec. I think it's almost done. All right. Let's do this again. Pan. I put the batter oh, right in the middle, right? Just for a few seconds. <coughs> then I swirl the pan. So the pancake got nice and round. Yeah. You see? Beautiful. Uh, my time. <laughs> it's going to be a, just for another minute. Can you shake the pan to, to the, the pancake? Lo so it. about a minute yeah. per side on medium to high heat. Uh, Emma's going to Emma's gonna show you too. I mean, Emma, can Emma, you are very, very good at this. You're going to have to give me a private tutorial. Well, well Emma has a lot of patience. Chef. You guys, I feel like everybody's attacking me for my lack of patience. My aunt was like, Emily, listen. My sister was like, Emma, teach Emily. So it's out, secret's out. I'm maybe not that patient in the kitchen. So, Chef, will you tell us the difference between a crepe and a Swedish pancake? Because a lot of people think they're the same. Uh, the crepe has a, is a more flour, uh, more elastic, uh, has a little rubber, rubbery texture. Uh, basically, it's, it, the recipe is, is very uh, familiar. It's just the, the amount of, uh, of ingredients. Um, this one is based heavily on, you know, is to get the eggs, a light, you know, perfectly uh, amount of flour. Um, so it, it's, it breaks up very easy, you know, compared to a crepe, you see. The same here. Oops, sorry guys. My stand had a little fall. 
Uh, Emma's going to flip it. All right, Emma. Woo! That is a good, she's great. There we go. So, Chef, does it, is it more flour in Swedish pancakes or less flour? It's, it's less flour. Less flour. Yeah. Okay. Less flour. So okay. I'm going to try more. one more. Wish me luck. Doing good there? Oh my God, my pour was perfection. Yeah. Boom. Oh yeah. I mean, third one to try. I might have uh -huh. to make it better. I told my neighbors I made the pancakes, but so far I have none yet. Yeah. Okay. This is exciting. There we go. Emma, look at oh. that. Perfect little <laughs> dump and flip. Oh, yeah. Emma is the best helper. Oh, yeah. I forgot the swirl, Janine. Thank you. Well, it doesn't need a swirl. It was so perfect. Goodness, you guys, when you have family watching, they are very critical and observant of your baking skills. Well, that's fair, right? Hey, I'm happy to have the support. And Janine's been to Stockholm and loves it, so it's especially fun to be watching. So I'd be curious, guys, if those of you in the audience, who has been to Stockholm Petaluma? Give us a little comment and uh, tell us your favorite dish there. Don't worry, if it's not the Swedish pancake, that's okay. They have a lot. I mean, I have to say the meatballs might be my favorite, but. Good. All right, so what we're going to uh, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to serve the Swedish pancake. Uh, okay. What I, what I prefer. Woof, that flip. So, so uh, we're going to sprinkle just the. Uh, uh, a little bit of sugar. Uh huh. Yeah. And, oh, powdered uh, sugar, right? Yeah, a little bit of sugar. We're gonna serve with uh, some fresh local uh, strawberries. Okay. This is regular sugar, but you can use powdered sugar. Okay. And chef, how did you prepare the strawberries? Uh, strawberries. Cut them, uh, clean them, uh, cut them, and then uh, we sprinkle just a little bit of sugar and the fresh uh, squeezed uh, lemon juice. Okay. Mm. On the strawberries, what does that do? Oh, it gives it a nice little sourness to it and, and, and the fresh freshness. Do you think I'm up to squeeze a little more lemon on the strawberries? Yes. Yeah. We should get the lemon. Perfect. I got. I have some blueberries, so I'm gonna probably do blueberries instead of strawberries on mine. Yeah. There we go. Do you recommend lemon for blueberries, Chef, or just strawberries? Uh, you, can, you can do any kind of berries. Uh, I'm just using it. Uh, the strawberries right now is nice for the season. It's, it's right coming in right now. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, of course, uh, we have some. Uh, Clover whipped cream. Yep. This is just a cup of uh, heavy cream. Okay. So I have that in the fridge too. Did you just whip that a little bit, like by hand or with a mixer to get it that fluffy? Uh, I do one cup. Uh, you whip it uh, by hand so quick. You don't okay. need a machine. Well, so quick for you. We'll see how those of us non professionals do. <laughs> the wife uses a machine. Okay. <laughs> So you're saying I should use a machine, Andrea. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I can read between the lines. That looks so good. This is making me really hungry, Robert. Um, right. And I would like to say we have so someone that commented meatballs and groblocks are her favorite. Yeah, the groblocks, people love that too. All right. So uh, put the whipped cream up. I'm going to fold it. Just like a little burrito. And... Uh, now we have a beautiful uh, breakfast. Can you hold it up, Chef, next to your face? I want to take a picture of us together. Thank you. And let's get Emma in there. She's, I mean, I feel like she did even maybe, maybe more work up. than you. Yeah. Emma, get in there. Hold Please. it up. There we go. Okay, one second. One more. Thank you, guys. Yeah. So this is perfect to, to do something, you know, surprise your, your, your mother tomorrow yes so robert yeah. we have a question in the audience um for the whipped cream do you just whip the cream alone or do you add a little sugar to it as well uh, one cup of uh, uh, heavy cream one tablespoon of sugar of powdered okay. sugar 
Okay. And uh, and we can have a little vanilla, but you, uh, you can do it you can just plain if you don't want to have too you know sweet to have more of that uh, uh, lightness to it. Just whip yeah. it with no flavor at all, and will okay. work out perfectly. You know, because you have the sugar in the in the pancakes anyway. Yeah. Um, wow. Um, yes. We have another viewer asking to share this video. Don't worry, I will be sharing it on my YouTube channel, Jet Setting Fashionista. Hopefully, be up by like Monday or Tuesday. But in the meantime, if you guys are trying to make this tomorrow for Mother's Day, after this Instagram Live runs, it will show up on Jet Setting Fashionista for 24 hours. So you can just watch me, Robert, and Emma for the next 24 hours as we make Swedish pancakes for mom. Oh, we're so excited. I know. Well, I gotta, I think I need to start over and re whip these up. <laughs> I just, so want to guys, thank you. I just want to thank you. This was, this was a lot of fun. It was fun. I know. I knew you'd love it. And yeah. let's see if we have any more questions from the audience. Um, I know ONMC Near says she, they miss Stockholm more than ever. Well, I don't know if you guys know this, but Stockholm is offering um, curbside carryout. So you can still have Stockholm. They are open Wednesday through Sundays. And what, what do you have fun cooking, Robert? I know you have various specials you're working on. Anything you want to... Any secrets you want to let out for the viewers of what's to come? Well, uh, well, t tomorrow we do something uh, very special for Mother's Day. You know, we, uh, we're selling, uh, uh, we have a champagne for sale. You know, we, we do uh, uh, caviar from the caviar girls. In, in oh, we love the caviar company. And the champagne, yeah. I'm pretty sure from what I saw, it's Veuve Clicquot's La Grande Dame, which is one of my favorites. Oh, yeah, and we, we also do, uh, we got uh, a nice... Uh, uh, a scray from Norway that we're going to do. What with, scray, Robert? Yeah, uh, scray is an uh, Arctic cod. Oh, you a know. cod, delicious. Yeah, absolutely, my favorite fish in the world. And uh, we're going to do a nice little uh, butter sauce uh, with, with mushroom and uh, lobster. Whoa, and I didn't know about this lobster. Uh, clover ingredients as well. Yeah. Yeah, so how did you get connected with Clover? I know you did a really fun, um, you know, you've done some cooking classes with children in Clover. I mean, those that don't know, do you want to tell them a little bit more about Clover and Petaluma and their sort of roots? Well, it is, uh, Clover is uh, our local dairy uh, uh, com company. And uh, uh, they do absolutely fantastic uh, uh, products uh, that I love, is my, my favorites. Um, and they're really good sponsoring the community as well with yeah. different events and all that. And then we try to uh, be a part of be a part of it as much as possible. Yeah, and I think um, you know during shelter in place and with how how hard restaurants and some of their partners have been impacted, they're just really looking for ways to spotlight you guys. So we came up with this fun idea because you know they know what a great Clover supporter you are, and they being in Petaluma, love you guys, and, um, you know, thought it would be fun. So I'm really fortunate that they sort of asked us to do this. And also, guys, one other thing we need to mention, um, for the month of May, if you mention Clover, the Instagram Live, whatever, Swedish Pancake, um, when you order a Swedish Pancake, there's this delicious little chocolate ball. If you look on uh, Stockholm Petaluma's Instagram or my Instagram, we have all these pictures of it. And we are giving you guys, or Stockholm is giving you, Stockholm and Clover, this delicious chocolate ball every time you order the Swedish pancake. So make sure to order a lot of Swedish pancakes this month and you'll get to try that yummy chocolate ball. What is in the chocolate ball, uh, choc Robert? Chocolate, chocolate? Yeah, yeah, cocoa, vanilla, butter, oatmeal. Uh, espresso. I'm sorry? It's espresso. Uh, a little espresso or coffee, coffee we have in there. And well, maybe. Uh, yeah, we just whip, whip, whip it up and uh, roll it in uh, coconut flakes. It's fantastic. No big deal. Well, maybe if we do one of these again, maybe for Father's Day we can do one and we can do the chocolate ball. Uh, I will love that. Yeah, that could be fun. Um, yeah, I know. People are starving watching this. So I'm trying to think, what else do we want to tell everybody before we wrap up? Uh, yeah, no, we, we all, all go through uh, uh, difficult times with, uh, all the, with the restaurant and service industry. So uh, you support your local businesses and... Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, hopefully this quarantine will be uh, ending uh, sooner than later. You know, I think we still have a, a month left of it. But, uh, yeah, you support your local businesses and uh, uh, we work from there. And yeah. thank you so much for watching and uh, thank, thank you so much for, 
for us being a part of it. Yeah, and there's one thing I did want to just say. When you were talking about Clover, um, I actually did an Instagram Live last week with um, Booker Farms, which is actually one of Clover's largest uh, organic milk farming farms. And they also have a wine that you guys probably have seen me drink a lot, Booker Wine, Booker Wines, which is delicious. So if you're curious a little bit more of the behind the scenes, like before the yummy milk and buttermilk get to Robert, if you want to understand like the farming side of it, that Instagram Live is on my YouTube channel. And once again, it was with Booker Farms sort of talking about how they work with Clover. And it's really interesting because there's so much that goes into the organic farming and the sustainability. And Clover has this thing, um, American, I learned this last week, American Humane Certified. So you guys, whether, I mean, obviously I think you should buy Clover, so, so does Robert. But even if you don't necessarily buy Clover, make sure that what you're buying is this American Humane Certified, because that means that the animals are treated humanely. And, you know, it's really important. So we need to take care of our, you know, little animals, whether they're our cows or someone else's, and make sure we're making the right purchasing decisions as consumers. Yes. Yes. Totally agree. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, that might be a wrap. I don't know. I sort of don't now want to we can enjoy our pancakes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys get to enjoy your pancakes. Oh, shoot. I forgot to flip mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god now you guys understand why i'm a way better um goose. consumer at the restaurants. she skipped a silly goose yeah i know emma can you come help me i need your training <laughs> what when we get through this you might have to give me a private lesson <laughs> okay uh, Okay, guys. Well, can we get a family photo of you three together? And I'm going to take one more screenshot and then we can call it a day. Come here. We'll do it. All right. Come here. Oh. All right. Here okay. Are. All right. We got to put Emma between you two. Oh, there we go. Okay. One, oh, well, one, two, three. Cheese. Robert, your finger. Oh, perfect. One, Love two, you three. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, I guess that's a wrap. I'm going to go make some pancakes. Wish me luck. Great. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thanks again, Stockholm and Clover, Sonoma. This has been awesome.